Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can use Copilot to provision a customer. And this provisioning won't only include the Wazoo group configuration, the Greylog configuration, but it will also provision our Wazoo dashboards within Grafana for the given customer. So for all of you that have been struggling with building your own Grafana dashboards for the Wazoo logs, uh, following this video will enable you to bring those dashboards into your Grafana instance. First things first, a few prereqs, of course, because we are interacting with Greylog, we are interacting with the Wazoo manager, and then we're also interacting with Grafana, you will need to make sure that all of these connections are established and verified between Copilot and the various uh, other applications. I'll link in the description below uh, tutorials on how, on how to do that if you haven't done so already. Do make sure you have that completed prior to progressing with the rest of this video. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is jump into customers. And what I'm first going to set before I even provision a customer is just this default setting. Now, if you're a client of ours, uh, you will need to set the cluster name, cluster key, IP, and the Wazoo worker host name. But for majority of you following along with this video, all you'll need to set is the Grafana URL. Now this is going to be either the domain name or the IP address that you use within your browser to connect to your Grafana instance. So here I'm just connecting over HTTP. Uh, here's my domain name and then over port 3000. So I'm gonna copy this value here and paste that within my Grafana URL. I'll remove the slash there uh, just to clean that up and select submit. And this is going to save this default setting. Again, if you're not a client of ours, all you'll need to set is the Grafana URL. Now what we're gonna add a customer. First, I'm going to define the customer code. Now this code is very important because this is what Copilot and the rest of the stack that we've deployed will use to correlate to writing to the correct index within the Wazoo indexer uh, when it comes to creating cases within Iris and alerts within Iris, it's gonna be using this customer code. This is a code that the stack will use to determine that, okay, this event pertains to this specific customer. Now this can be whatever string you want. Um, I usually recommend and like to follow the customer name. Let's say for example, I have customer, I have a customer of please subscribe is gonna be the customer name. So the customer code that I'm gonna set is going to be please subscribe. I'll set the name of the customer, that'll just be please, and then subscribe. And then I'll set the last name as subscribe, and then first name as please. Uh, those are all the required fields that are needed. So you can fill out these extra metadata fields if you desire, uh, but the only ones that are required are these top four here. And I now have my customer created. So now that our customer is created, we now need to provision this customer. So if I select the details of this customer and I select provision, we will now walk through the provisioning wizard. Here, pre-populated is going to be our customer code and our customer name. Now, once these are set, these cannot be changed. So do make sure that you have decided on the naming convention that you want to use. Now we are going to define our Grafana org name. And what this will correlate to is if I go into Grafana, you'll see in my drop down here, I can select the organization. The org name that we define is going to be what will be included in our dropdown. Uh, I usually recommend just defining the org name as the same as a customer as well, so it's obvious as to what organization you're in. Then I'll go ahead and select next, and now we will define our gray log setting. So we're going to first define the customer index name. Uh, usually the naming convention I like to recommend for this is just Wazoo because these are gonna be Wazoo events that we're ingesting. And then the customer name, so I'll just say Wazoo, or sorry, the customer code. So I'll say Wazoo, please, dash, please subscribe. I can define the number of replicas for the index, the number of shards, and then the hot data retention will pertain to how long do you want the data to be stored on disk for this particular customer. So let's say, for example, if I set 30 here, this will store 30 days worth of this customer's data. I can define whatever settings I want to set there. If I select next, um, now we will define the subscription that we wanna to subscribe to. Currently we have our Wazoo description. 
selected and then I can select the dashboards that I want to provision within this Grafana organization. Here are the list of dashboards uh, that we include for you guys. Uh, you can select just a few of them if you want a few of them or you can select all and go on to the next step. Now, if you're not a client of ours, this HA proxy and Wazoo worker will not pertain to you guys. In terms of configuring the provisioning, you guys are now done. So what you'll go ahead and do is select submit here. And now this is going to provision everything on the back end for us. So and so now I'll see the metadata that has been stored for this particular customer. So here we see our gray log index ID, our stream ID, and really just some metadata that you guys really don't need to worry about. So let's go ahead and step through what has happened on the back end. So we have first now created our index. We will now see our please subscribe uh, Wazoo index set. So here we see the name that we set uh, within Copilot, and then we also see the rotation is going to be one. The rotation of the index is going to happen every day. And then the max number of indexes or indices that we're going to store is 30, meaning that we have 30 days of retention period. We have our index created. We also need to have our stream created. So if we go into streams, you also see your new stream created for your customers Wazoo events. You also see two stream rules have been created. Now, if you're not a client of ours, delete this rule. I'll plan to do an update here in the future um, that will have some logic built in to not automatically set this. But for now, just manually delete this. The agent label customer is going to match what we define as our customer code, which is our please subscribe. And what exactly is this doing? If I go into groups, we'll now also see our our new uh, customer group has also been created. So we have one for Linux, please subscribe. And if I uh, select this guy, you'll see that the customer label is gonna be set to please subscribe. So when I onboard this customer's agents uh, to my Wazoo manager, I'm gonna make sure that I assign them to the correct group. So we have one for Linux, uh, we have one for Windows. Actually, it would probably be easier if I just do a search here. Uh, we have one for Linux, we have one for Mac, and one for Windows. And if I edit the Windows one, you'll see as well that that customer code is populated there. When Greylog sees any event where the agent label customer is equal to the customer code, again, this correlates directly to what we see uh, within Wazoo, it knows to route it to the appropriate index, which is our please subscribe index, right? This customer's data will now get written to the correct customer's uh, data set. Uh, this is just like our default Windows template as well. Uh, feel free to modify this uh, as if you choose. This is the default that we include and have built into Copilot. If we go into pipelines, if you guys have followed our uh, content pack, which we covered in a previous video, we also need to make sure that the customer's stream, so this please subscribe, is assigned to the Wazoo processing pipeline. So it'll go through all of the uh, field normalization and all that stuff that we use for our Grafana dashboard. And this is set, it, set automatically during the customer provisioning process, but just for uh, awareness and, and knowledge, uh, assigning the stream to the correct pipeline is also a process that is going to be done. Now, uh, with, in terms of gray log in Wazoo, we are done. We have our Wazoo group created, our gray log index stream and assigning the pipeline to the stream is created. You'll need to refresh Grafana to see the new organization called Please Subscribe. If I select this, um, here's just the default Grafana uh, landing page. First things first, what Copilot is going to create the Wazoo data source. This is going to be an open search data source because that's what the Wazoo indexer is now. If you don't have the open search installed by default, within you guys' Grafana instance, just select add new connection, do a search for open search, select it, and then there should be a button here to install it if you haven't already. So just make sure that's done. If I go back into data sources, you'll now see the connection that's going to be established to the please subscribe a uh, wazoo data source uh, all this stuff up here you don't really need to worry about but what's important here is going to be the index name this correlates directly to the index name that we have defined within uh gray log right so we have our wazoo please subscribe if we go back to grafana we have our wazoo please subscribe and then we add this wild card here because gray log is automatically going to uh rotate and numerically add uh this value here to the end of every index tomorrow's index is going to be wazoo dash please subscribe underscore one 
So this wild card here just tells Grafana, hey, I want to pull all data uh, regardless of the day. And that's really all you need to know for the data source. If we now go into our dashboards, we'll see a new folder here called EDR. And here you'll see all of the dashboards that we included as part of the Copilot uh, customer provisioning. Now, I don't have any data here because I don't actually have any agents uh, feeding data into this index yet. But you guys now have all of the dashboards that we include with our Wazoo install. You guys can use this to kind of reverse engineer to see how we're building the dashboards and come up with ideas of your own. But that's going to uh, conclude this video. I hope you guys find this as a useful feature when it comes to provisioning new customers into the Seam stack. You guys can use this similar logic to not only provision the indexes and the Wazoo groups, but most importantly, the Grafana dashboards. I appreciate you guys' time and I will see you in the next one.